Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and if you only knew how many times I just said that, you guys, <laughs> I am tripping over my Invisalign, spitting everywhere. It is a whole moment right now. I do not know what is wrong with me. But today I am so freaking excited because of course we have another foundation review. I love foundation reviews so freaking much. You've seen a ton of them on my channel. You actually probably just saw a foundation review yesterday, the Pat McGrath. I will link up here. Girl, did I have issues uploading that, dear sweet baby Jesus, oh my God. Um, but this one I'm actually filming in basically real time. So you will be seeing this video the day that or the day after I am filming it. So I'm really, really excited about that. Your girl's also really, really strung out on some coffee. I had an extra cup because I couldn't sleep. Mm. I couldn't sleep. Mm. So clearly there's a lot going on in here today and I'm just really jazzed because this is the newest foundation. I haven't even said it yet from ABH. Hello. Hi. Look at this sexy little beast. This is the luminous foundation and I really love everything about this. The concept, the packaging. We're going to dive right in. I don't want to waste any time and your girl's running late. How did I wake up so early and I'm running so late? I wish I knew. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and start reading because I did pick this up off of the Ulta.com website. This is a $38 foundation and you get a freckle over one fluid ounce which is 1.014 so like a little tiny boop, 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 full so nothing really like oh my god wow there's so much extra but just you know something to note something to include now as far as the details on this it says it is a water resistant liquid foundation that creates a luminous natural finish the radiant formula delivers long wearing medium coverage yet still feels so lightweight and looks ultra fresh this is the coverage you have been waiting for luminous foundation looks great on its own there's no need to set with a powder available in many <laughs> wait what <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> available in many complete natural shades luminous foundation foundation blurs any imperfections including discoloration and unevenness without caking or masking the skin's natural radiance. With a seamless application, this easy to blend formula leaves the skin with a perfected looking complexion that is free of flashback or oxidization. Ooh, we're making some claims, honey bunches. There's literally nothing in this box. Bye. I ain't got time for you. I ain't got time. Now, for those of you that are new to my foundation reviews, hello, hi, stick around and subscribe because whenever I do a foundation review, I always split my face in half when it comes to primers. So on this side, I have my usual Tatcha Silk Canvas. It's my control variable. It's just a good pore filling primer. It doesn't add luminosity, matteness. It's just a good natural type primer that fills in some pores. And then on the other side, I always go in and play around a little bit. So on that side, I went in with my Barsali Skin Tune Blur, and I mainly chose this because it can get a little dewy. It can get a little bit luminous, but I really like like the way that it kind of sits on the skin and is giving me like a soft focus more like blurring effect so that's what I'm kind of in it for today I just want to see two different bases how they look and wear with this foundation and your girl really doesn't want to waste any time so let's crack this beast open here is the packaging all gold component down here plastic black cap black pump and then on the back it does say foundation which I'm just gonna talk while I apply so I'm gonna take some of this here on the back of my hand and I grabbed this in the shade 150 W by the way I did get this in store I'm not not gonna lie to you guys and say that I spent a lot of time color matching this whole because no I did not honey bunches I definitely did not but um by the way dose of color sponge is what I'm using to apply this here um but what I wanted to do oh what and I actually didn't do a bad job okay all right good look at me go um so 150w like I said and I'm <laughs> earrings every time all right so just really getting this one pump on here this looks beautiful as far as like settling into the skin so far I'm really liking that you can tell that like side to side no foundation versus foundation it does have a really nice light radiance to it at the moment which I'm really quite happy about that looks really pretty need a little bit more though this I feel like this isn't going super far with a sponge um and it is on the looser side so maybe it's just like sucking up into that sponge so I'm gonna grab a brush hello okay I'm going to try to grab a brush I'm gonna, I'm gonna try oh effort effort has to come for something okay well after searching for a year and a half or five minutes I'm gonna be using this brush instead this is my morphe y7 this is the one that I use when I can't find my other brush which is clearly the case so let's go in with some of this I want to see if I can build coverage a little bit faster and maybe just make the product go a little bit farther. Ooh, I do feel like the cup. <laughs> Earring. Please subscribe. I promise I'm not stupid. Okay, so it applies really nice with a brush as far as the coverage goes. I put the same amount of foundation on both sides of my face, and I do feel like the coverage that I get with a brush over here is a lot nicer. Um, the only thing is I am getting those light little stipple marks, which isn't uncommon for me with foundations, but a lot of times I will go in with a brush. I will apply it just for the coverage, and then I'll go through and press it in with my sponge. 
and that usually helps um, give me a little bit more bang for my foundation. So I'm actually gonna grab a little bit more foundation, just like one more pump, and I want to build up this side just a freckle to see how much coverage we can get. Rude. And I'm just kind of packing and pressing it onto the skin, and that actually did give me a little bit more coverage. Um, I don't know that it's enough coverage that I would be like, oh yeah, build this up and it'll give you full coverage, but it does build to, I would say, a decent medium coverage. Um, as you can tell, like still some of my redness is really poking through in this area and along my jawline, but it's definitely not as noticeable as it was. Guys, I'm not mad at this. Like it looks really beautiful on the skin and for being like a luminous foundation, I really thought it would be a lot more <laughs> luminous. Wow, Paige. Um, but I just thought, I don't know, like maybe it would be overly dewy and it would like really run around and stuff and it's not. For a luminous finish, it's much more on the subtle side of luminous, which I appreciate as someone who's like normal to oily. Um, but let me grab some Concealer, concealer, concealer. Uh, yeah. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape here. This is actually in Fair Neutral. I know, I know. Um, I found this in my drawer, and I don't know if I bought this, like, how long ago? I don't know if I bought the wrong shade, but your girl's gonna use it because A, it's Tarte Shape Tape. Like, I love it. Um, even though it's not my color, we're still gonna, we're still gonna rock it. A little bit on the jawline. This is just how I like to brighten and kind of contour my face, and then I'll go in and blend it out. No big deal. This part's not exciting. I mean, it's exciting for me because it's on my face, but for you, it's probably not exciting. And by the way, for those of you that don't know why it's significant, I normally use the shade Porcelain Beige, not Fair Neutral. It's not that exciting. All right, and now with that applied, I am ready for some powder, and y'all know it. Of course, I picked up their new setting powders. I grabbed two shades, vanilla and translucent. Vanilla is the lightest with color, and then translucent is obviously translucent. So let's go ahead and read off of the website a little bit here. These are $36 a piece, and you get 0.88 fluid ounces, which is actually quite a bit of powder. Let me find, like right here, my Maybelline Fit Me, which is a hefty amount. This is only 0.7, so you get a lot of product with these ABH ones. I'm not mad about it. They're $36, so please give me all the product. Thank you so much. But down in the description, it says that these for, are perfect for brightening and setting makeup in place. Um, it is a lightweight, super fine powder formula that goes on smoothly as it absorbs oil, minimizes shine, and leaves you with a flawless matte finish. Available in four naturally toned shades and one universal translucent shade, this silky formula gives the complexion a seamless, soft focus effect, blurs the look of imperfections, and extends the wear of your makeup. Whoa, dude, this is a big packaging. I didn't even look at the display for these. I literally just picked them up and left. So this is gigantic. All right, so this is the shade Vanilla. Looking pretty good, actually. Let me do like a little swatch here under the foundation. Wow, that right there is the shade Vanilla. I really like the consistency of that. It isn't like a silky, like Jeffree Star powder. It's not a Fenty powder. This is much more along the lines of... Um, I would say like the Maybelline Fit Me or the Hourglass Powder. Like you can tell it has a little bit of ass to it. It's not super, super silky fine to where when you touch it with your finger, it disappears. And don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about when I say disappears. Cause you know those other powders, you go like boop, 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 and they literally just like dissipate and you can't feel them. This is not one of those. You can actually feel it. Thank God. Maybe I have a prayer with my under eyes. So I'm going to actually take, repad out my creases on my under eyes, of course, per use, cause <laughs> that's where all the baggage in my life goes, right to my under eyes. And my shoulders, my shoulders are just real friggin' sore. But I'm gonna take and then just apply a little bit of this powder to both of my under eyes here. This is how I like to apply it because I really have to pack it in those little baggy creases because, girl, they are so troublesome. Okay, so change of plans. Your girl was gonna use her little powder puff and like poop, 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 press it into her face, but my world is not cooperating. So in with the brush we go. This is just my Morphe JH01 brush here, and I'm going to very, very gently just kind of press and tap this onto the skin and set this foundation all up in place. Yes, honey. So what I think I'm gonna do is use the translucent one, the white one, for um, brightening up like the under eyes and the jawline. Maybe I'll bake with it for like a second and just see how it works for that idea. I really do like the tone of this shade. Like this is really, really pretty. Ooh, that actually feels so nice on my skin. Hi, okay. This powder has got definite possibilities. Wow. So since how y'all we gotta wait and we gotta like use that translucent to bake up a little bit, how about we apply some more products together because I just love hanging out with y'all. So this is my BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer in Golden Gal. Cannot tell you, by the way, how much I love all of you that are telling me in the comments. You've told me on Twitter, on Instagram. You're like, girl, thanks to you, I'm, tr I'm trying the Brilliance Bronzer from BH Cosmetics. And let me just tell you, 
I love you for that because I honestly don't think you'll regret it. I love this. I love the formula. I've used it so much. It was in my month and favorites, which I can link up there. I've literally used this in every video because it's just so freaking good. Oh my God. I, like, look at that. Also, I know my nose looks crazy. It always does. You just have to trust the process. So guys, I just looked down on my little desk here and I saw the NARS blush in Maldives sitting here. Beautiful color. I love it a lot. And I don't remember why it's sitting here. I probably filmed with it in a video, but like, okay let's get it going all right and then per usual I like to go in with my hourglass powder here and my JH01 and I just really lightly kind of blend everything together this is the ambient palette from hourglass it's just a really nice finishing powder let's go ahead here and take a little look at this translucent powder real quick like y'all this is like cocaine white okay so this is translucent and then down here is still that little swatch of vanilla that's like worked into my hand so you can definitely see a difference um I want to see though is there flashback that's a very important question so I am definitely getting a little bit of flashback from the white translucent shade not so much from the tone shade the shade vanilla but a little bit here from um, the white one so I'm gonna use it but I'm gonna use it sparingly and I'm just gonna take a little bit of it here on my sponge kind of pack it up on the inner area of my eye just to really like brighten up that area I guess and then I'm gonna pull it down the side of my nose a little and I'm not gonna let this sit for a really long time either I'm gonna remove it probably after like like a minute or so. All right, so I got just a little bit of that put on. As you can tell, I didn't go overly harsh in any area, and I'm only waiting about 30 seconds, and now I'm going to go ahead and brush it off because uh, I don't want it to leave like that harsh of a white cast, but I do want to see if I can get the brightening from it, so let's remove... Oh, actually, yeah, there is a nice brightness from that. Okay, all right, I'm not mad at it. All right, you guys, I'm going to go off of camera because my dad is apparently doing something very, very loud, and I will check back on here when I'm all done with my face. We're talking, like, brows, mascara, lips, like, the bare minimum, um, and we'll just check back on here. We'll see how it's looking, how it's wearing after things are settling, sinking into my skin, honey, and looking flawless, so hang tight, and I will be right back. And all right, you guys, here we are. I have the rest of my makeup on. I didn't go in and do anything crazy. Um, I did, however, make one fatal mistake on the Lips. This is the Physician's Formula Soaking Up the Sun Maru Maru Ru 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 Butter. And I really, really love this stuff. It's really nice on the lips. It's super comfortable, but it feathers on my lips like a mofo. So at the end of the day, when you see all the little cracks and the feathering from this, don't mind me. I lived my best. I had a good time with it. It's wonderful. But girl, she's not going to look good here in about seven hours. But anyways, let's go ahead and throw up the up close of the foundation real quick like here. Um, the main thing that I am noticing with this stuff is that it looks beautiful on the skin and it has this really nice soft blurring effect it does sit over top of my more porous areas like right around my mouth at the base of my upper like cheek apple right here that's normally just a really like textured area for me whether it's pores acne what have you and it looks really smooth up close and I don't even think that the camera is going to do it justice this is just one of those things that in real life looks beautiful what I'm gonna do actually is I will go out into natural light and I'm gonna just with my phone like take a little mini video of how this looks and I'll insert it here for you guys but what I really like about this is how soft it looks over just my cheeks and my pores overall I feel like it has such a beautiful like smoothing effect to it and I know that I keep repeating that but I'm just so impressed but I really think that up close shot that you will have just seen in natural light will help so I'm gonna go ahead and go take that you will have already seen that through the magic of editing and uh, I'm gonna go do my day I'll check back out of course at the end let you guys know what is up and uh, we will go from there so hang tight and I will be right back all right you guys it is officially the end of the day and you girls been wearing this makeup for a little over 10 and a half hours and I am ready to share with you some final thoughts so let's go ahead and throw up the up close so that we, we can all kind of look at this situation together um the main thing that I'm noticing after all of this time is just some slight like settling and eventual breakage on the upper lip area as well as on the chin just a little bit on the chin um, a little bit more around the sides of the nose and then of course on the nose it is quite oily and pretty broken up as well but the forehead still looks pretty good again given how long it's been on the sides of my cheeks on both sides look really nice as well um, overall I think it's safe to say like this foundation in my opinion is a really solid foundation now there are of course a couple of things that I think could be improved for my skin but that's just because I am more on the normal normal to oily side and this is leaning more luminous um for example on the nose right through here the underside of my nose like on the sides anytime I see breakage
breakage or like um, loss of foundation in this region, it is usually pretty indicative of me just having an overall problem with the foundation gripping to my skin because that is my oily area. Now, I'm, again, I'm not surprised because this does lean more luminous, but for me, that would be one of the only issues would just be maybe finding a way to tack this to the skin a little bit more. It does have a really nice soft but still luminous finish to it, which I really appreciate. Um, this isn't the type of foundation that you put it on and you're like, oh wow, like this is so dewy, at least not for me. This was the kind of foundation that when I put it on, my first thought was, wow, that's very naturally pretty. And when I told you guys this morning, like I could see a lot of the softening of like the, the blurring effect right through here. Overall, I think the color was really, really nice. I feel like I don't need to have much change in that area. This foundation actually did not oxidize on me, which is crazy fantastic. And if you've seen any of my past foundation reviews, especially recently, you would know that the oxidizing of foundations is a huge problem for me. So I was really happy that that wasn't a thing. Um, as far as the coverage goes, I felt like that stayed intact, but I might want to add a little something if I was going for like, oh, you know, I need a little more coverage. Maybe I'm going more glam and a little bit less subdued makeup. I might want to add something in that region. And if I were to do that and add a little more coverage, I might want to go with the Catrice HD Full Coverage Drops. I love these so much. And they do have a very soft but matte finish. And I think that that not only would add a little coverage, but it might also help um, cling to this area a little bit better and have just a little bit better staying power without taking away that really nice overall luminous kind of finish that we have going on. As far as the powders go, I will definitely keep working with these as well. I normally don't have so much success with a new setting powder. You guys, if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know that I am so, so picky. Correction, I am not picky. My face is picky when it comes to these setting powders. So it is really nice to have another option to try out. Again, like I mentioned this morning, as far as consistency goes, I feel like all of that is still 100% true. I will keep working with this though and kind of feeling um, for what you're getting and is it worth it. But for today, I really do feel like this was a great hit as well. Also, I think it is safe to say at this point, y'all, my coffee high that I was on this morning when I was like, blah, 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 it's officially dying down and I'm very happy about it. So thank God for time. It only took 10 hours, but your girl's finally starting to level out. I'm going to go eat some dinner and you guys can leave me all your thoughts, comments, opinions down below. Don't forget you can check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. They are both linked. And if you haven't done so yet, you can also subscribe and turn on your post notifications for this here YouTube channel. I do upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They go up bright and early or so they're supposed to between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in northern Michigan. And it's just a good, fun, fresh way to start your day. We talk about makeup, new, old, love it, hate it. Lately, a ton of foundation reviews. And girl, I do not plan on stopping anytime soon. So let me know your thoughts down below. I can't wait to hear from you. And you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Pretty girl, rock, 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 rock. Get that ever stuck in your head? I don't know where it came from. I don't know where I heard it. I haven't heard it in years, but I do the pretty girl, rock, rock, rock. Stuck in my head. Hey. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, ABH, you literally gave me a see-through barcode. What am I supposed to do with this? It's scanned? Wow. Okay, I take back what I said. Sorry, don't hate me. There's a hair, there's a cat hair in my nose. I repeat, there's a cat hair in my nose. It's gonna make my nose all red. Hello, hello. It's okay to be on perfect sometimes. It's okay. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria. And you guys, today we have a foundation review.